Welcome to Spooky Season, everybody. Hello, my name is Mother Goose. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Star Wars Visions. Now, in my humble opinion, this was the perfect combination, Star Wars and anime. Yes, I am a huge Star Wars fan. Yes, I am a huge weeb. And I have been just so excited for this project since it got announced. And yes, I binge watched it all in one sitting. Now, I just want to clarify something House Dog and I talk about a lot on our podcast, link in the description below, go check it out, is that your Star Wars is your Star Wars. You have every right to like or dislike Star Wars Visions. And at the same time, I have every right to like or dislike Star Wars Visions. And just because I have an opinion on it, that doesn't mean you're wrong for your opinion. And I think that's something we as a Star Wars community really, really need to remember. That being said, again, you have every right not to like Star Wars Visions, but there was something I did want to talk about first before we get into the episodes. I've seen a lot around, I've seen a lot of people talking about how Star Wars didn't need to be an anime or how it had too many Japanese influences. And again, again, you do not have to like it. But if your reason for not liking it is because of the Japanese influence, I think you're really missing a large point of the Star Wars we already have. The original trilogy was heavily, heavily inspired by Japanese culture and Japanese films. So if you are criticizing Visions for having too much of a Japanese influence, you should also criticize the original trilogy for having too much of a Japanese influence. Just something to keep in mind while reviewing and critiquing Visions. Now let's actually talk about it. So Visions, like I said, it is a Star Wars anime. It is an anthology series, nine episodes created by seven different studios. And overall, it was amazing. I really, really liked it. Was it perfect? No. Was it enjoyable? 100% yes. I really love Visions, and I really hope we get another season. Okay, so let's just quickly go through all of the episodes, starting with The Duel. The Duel, I'd give a solid, like, 7 out of 10. It was really good. I really, really enjoyed the twist that the Ronin was a Sith and not a Jedi. The combat was good. The animation was really good. But I wasn't the largest fan of the animation style. But, and I know this is going to sound really weird, even though I didn't really like the style, I also really appreciated the style and what they were trying to do with it, and I think they did it extremely well. Next on the list was Tattoon... Tattoon? <laughs> Fake fan! Fake fan right here. Um, next on the list is Tatooine Rhapsody. This was probably the episode I was least looking forward to. But I was really, really surprised by it. I really loved the story. I loved getting to see Boba. Any chance we can get to see Boba is great. The animation style was really good. It was very different. The animation style, honestly, is one of the main reasons that I wasn't looking forward to this episode. But I was really pleasantly surprised by it. I really liked the story of the bass guitarist being a runaway hut and Boba having to go after him to be bring him back to Tatooine to be executed. The music, the music, the music was just so good. Whoever wrote these songs put a lot of heart and soul into it. I'd give it probably a 9 out of 10. The Twins. I would give The Twins, I'm just getting it out there now, a 4 out of 10. This was my least favorite episode out of all. Uh, I didn't really enjoy the animation style. Oh, and I probably should have clarified this earlier. I didn't have a set either sub or dub. Some list episodes I watched sub, some I listened to, some I watched dubbed. And this was one that I watched dubbed, and this might have been another reason that I really didn't enjoy it. I felt like the dub of this episode overall was really bad. But I'll probably go back and watch it subbed later, and that might change my opinion on it. But I didn't really enjoy the story that much. They really, really pushed the limits of the force and it was very over the top and I don't think that's a bad thing. And again, if you really enjoyed this episode, you have every right to. In no way am I trying to make people feel bad for enjoying this episode. I just personally did not. 
The Village Bride. The Village Bride is probably my second favorite out of all the episodes. I would give this a 9 out of 10. Out of all the animation styles, this one was definitely my favorite. I really loved the main characters. I loved getting to just explore this planet and their rituals and the troubles that they were going through. And my, I think my only complaint with this episode is they brought up the Padawan's master at one point saying that they had a connection to the planet. And then that was never explained, never revisited. And these are shorter episodes, so you don't have a lot of time to really explore a lot of this. But at the same time, it just felt weird that it was mentioned and then never explained why there was that connection. The Ninth Jedi. The Ninth Jedi, without a shadow of a doubt, was my favorite episode out of the entire lot. 10 out of 10. So, so good. I really loved the characters. I really loved getting to see the Sabersmith. And I w this was actually another episode I went in thinking, I'm not going to enjoy this because they the description talked about a Sabersmith. And I was like, that's not how it works. Jedi are supposed to make their own lightsabers. But the way they handled it, I thought was really great. I really loved the twist that six out of those nine Jedi were actually dark side acolytes not sith but actual acolytes i really enjoyed the fact that they specified that and the combat was really good the animation was amazing really loved the characters and i loved how one of the jedi was consumed by the darkness but was able to come back in the end and then we get this really epic scene of the four surviving jedi leaving to go rebuild the jedi order and then the flip the camera and we see that the temple they were on resembles a lightsaber i just really really loved it it was super creative and i really hope if they go back and make another season that we explore these characters more tob1 was probably the episode i was least looking forward to i was never really i was never really a big fan of astro boy and there's a lot of astro boy influences in this episode and also there's the whole argument of it's a droid, can the droid really become a Jedi, so on and so forth, and I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Again, loved the animation style, really enjoyed the story, it was handled very well. Again, these are shorter episodes, so they don't have as much time to fit everything in, but the pacing was just really good. And, T.O.B. 1, Toby, you know, I think represents all of us, the little kid in all of us just wanting to be a Jedi Knight, and I think that's awesome. 7 out of 10. Pretty decent. Not my favorite, but definitely not the worst am among the bunch. The Elder is the episode I think I was the most excited for, just the animation style, the creepiness of the old Sith. I was just really excited for it, and honestly, it did not disappoint. It was really, really good. I really loved the dynamic between the Jedi and his Padawan. I really appreciated the fact we clearly knew where this was amongst the timeline a couple of hundred years after the Sith disappeared. I'd give this episode a 9 out of 10. Like I said, it didn't disappoint. It ended up being one of my favorites, but I was really happily surprised that it didn't end up being my favorite out of all of them. The fight was really great. I think my only complaint is that that final showdown between the Jedi Master and the Sith, I would have liked it to be just a little longer. It was a very short fight, and it would have been it would have been nice to just see that go on just a couple minutes longer. Lop and Ocho. Oh no! There's furries in Star Wars. That was one of the biggest complaints I saw about this series before it actually came out, and I'm like. Do you not remember Chewbacca, a staple of the series since the beginning? No, I really, really enjoyed this episode. I would probably give this one a 9 out of 10 as well. I loved the family dynamic. I loved the fact that they weren't actual Jedi, but they had this lightsaber in their family. I also really enjoyed the theme of found family, and just because you may not be related by blood doesn't mean you can't actually be family. And the ending... Where the, sister, where the two sisters fought, L Lop and Ocho, I was really surprised. I didn't think that was the direction it was going to go, but it just worked so well. And this is one, again, where I really hope we get to see these characters in the future if they do another season. Akiri. This one, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about this one. Uh, it's art style. I wasn't, I wasn't really looking forward to, like, watching the trailers. Uh, I thought it would be okay, but... 
Again, it was one I was very pleasantly surprised with. We get to see a lot of parallels between the Jedi Master and the story and Anakin. And I was, again, just really pleasantly surprised by it. And it left me really, really sad at the ending. He saved, he saved his love, but at what cost? Especially the fact that he had to leave in the end. I would say this one probably had the biggest emotional impact on me out of all of them, and I think it was a really great one to end the first season with. In terms of rating, I'd give it probably an 8 out of 10. Um, I think my only complaint was, in terms of his fall to the dark side, it just seemed a little rushed, but again, these are very... These are very short episodes, so you can't get a three-film arc plus a seven-season animated series about Anakin falling to the dark side and compare that to a 20-minute episode and expect the pacing to be the same. So we can give it a little slack, but I, I think that was my only complaint. It was really good, and I'd give it probably an 8 out of 10. Anyway, I know that was just a really quick review over all of the episodes, but the season is good. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, you definitely should check it out. And like I've said a hundred times throughout this episode, I really hope we get another season. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to join the flock, and I'll see you in the next one. Mother Goose out.